Mm -hmm. Biological hazard right here. My skin is breaking out. My skin has never looked like this before. Hey, I'm Zeta, and today we're gonna to be taking a skin DNA test and getting a personalized skincare routine to see if it makes a difference to our skin. Okay, so what is skin DNA? Look, I think we can safely say that skincare is so confusing. I mean, there are so many different brands and products and treatments and therapies. What skin DNA aims to do is to basically look at your genetics and really understand your, what ingredients are gonna be right for your skin based on science rather than hype. Honestly, with my skin, I don't know a lot about it. I think I have like oily combo because I know I get oily around the T-zone. I thought my skin was oily, so I was using products that would strip it of oil. Then my skin freaked out, so I started giving it oil. I have pretty sensitive skin. I don't really break out too much. Like I get the odd pimple here and there, but I go in the sun a lot. I feel like this report is basically gonna tell me to wear sunscreen or you're gonna look like a leather couch when you're older. So I think for this personalized skincare routine to be successful for me, I want my skin to look completely different. I just wanna be glowing. So basically we're gonna be doing a DNA test and then from the results, we'll be doing a skincare routine for about three weeks to see if we see any results. Shout out to Skin DNA for hooking us up with these tests. I can't wait for you to tell me what I'm gonna look like in 60 years. Okay, let's get started. Step one, collect. Rub firmly against the inside of your cheek for at least 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Putting that in there. Okay, snap this off. Oh, got it. Oh my God, it's done. Get the sticker. Whee. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. Got issues with my skin that someone's gonna fix. With skin DNA, we look at five main categories of skin aging. The first category is collagen breakdown. Essentially, the more collagen breaks down, the more visible signs we start to notice. So, you know, skin laxity, sagging, fine lines. So the next category that we look at is what's called glycation. This is all about sugar metabolism. In the skin, glycation affects elasticity. The next category is sun damage and pigmentation. Now, this is not necessarily about the color of your skin. It's about what happens when we are exposed to the sun and how well our body responds to protecting. Free radical damage is probably the most important category. Unfortunately, the one thing keeping us alive is also the one thing that is slowing us down and that is oxygen. So whenever we breathe in oxygen, the body takes its nutrients. As an end result, it also unfortunately creates free radicals. And it is free radicals that damage all cells in the body, including skin cells. Sensitivity and inflammation it kind of speaks for itself. Why is it that some people have acne and pimples? Why is it that some people are sensitive to products? And what we know from a DNA test is that people with different uh, variations can basically be more sensitive to how their body responds to topical and active ingredients. Okay, so we've got our skin DNA results and that report was Comprehensive. I've never known more about my skin. So I got 100% in collagen breakdown, but then really bad in like wrinkling and glycation. So for me, medium risk is wrinkling, high risk is sun damage, and another medium risk is free radical damage. So from our skin DNA report, we were each given a specific skincare routine tailored to our beautiful faces, one for morning and one for night. I've got three products to try as part of my new skincare routine. I've got Protect, I've got one for sensitivity, and I've got one called The Essentials. So the red one, the sensitive one, is the one I'm actually most interested about because in the report it said I had a medium risk of skin sensitivity. I do have a bit of redness on the cheeks there, so this product is hopefully going to help with that. Line them up to see what order to put them in because I literally forget every day. AM, 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 AM. Okay, great. And then this one is exclusively for nighttime. Okay, so I've been using the skincare that's recommended for me for a few days now, and my skin is breaking out. So what I'm feeling right now is that if this skincare routine doesn't really change my face that much, 
I'm probably gonna go back to my old routine because I prefer how it feels on the face. I haven't noticed anything major, majorly different. That's to be expected. With skincare, it can usually take a bit of time. Actually, now that I think about it, my eye bags are pretty chill. I've got a couple little breakouts around here. Could be because I'm about to get my period. Don't know if it's directly connected to the skincare. I'm not worried, because that's totally normal when trying something new on your face. I really like the redness one. I think that really reduces my redness, which I really am quite self-conscious about. This is my skin right after the routine. As you can see, it's sticky. The other thing I've noticed doing this for a few days is it's a lot of steps, but if it works, I would definitely continue to do it. We're a couple of days into week two. In terms of changes, nothing significant so far, which I'm not surprised about. I'm leaving the house today with this guy and I was like, I don't even need foundation because- I don't even need foundation. Yeah, I don't even need it because look at it, look at this glow. Week two and I'm getting used to the amount of steps that I have to do to complete this routine. I think my skin is looking pretty bloody good. What I have been noticing though is a couple of breakouts. I've got a couple pimples here still and some just on my cheek. I've just got a little bit of concealer, a little bit of blush and like eye makeup. And that's it. So I think it's working. What do you reckon? It's working. It's working. They've figured out my DNA. They've given me some stuff. I'm putting it on my face and my body's obviously liking it. Bring on week three. So we finally reached week three of the Skin DNA Skincare Challenge. I just woke up and my skin is looking the best it's ever looked. Honestly. I am wondering like if my pores are smaller. My skin has had good days and bad days. It's just looking so much brighter and smoother. One thing I will say about these products, which I really like, is they go on so nicely. Even though I feel like I don't really need to wear makeup every day because of how smooth it is, I, it looks so good when I put makeup on. Like, who is she? I'm actually shocked. My skin is absolutely breaking out again, which is so annoying. I will say that I have been enjoying using the products overall. For me, it was only these three to add to my skincare routine, which really was not bad at all. Even though I complain about it being a lot of steps, like it's actually not that many steps. Like that just took me. 30 seconds to do my entire skincare routine. Like my face does look glowy. I'm so impressed with these products. I kind of was skeptical. I was like, Ugh, you know, what more could skincare really give me? You know, I already spent hundreds of dollars on like a seven step skincare routine, premium products. Like what else could skincare do for me? Turns out it can do a lot more. Overall, the information in the report I thought was really interesting and something that I can now take into the future of my skincare. Everything I thought I knew about my skin was just speculation, but this report is so helpful because it tells you exactly what your skin is like for different aspects. Over the three weeks, I would say I didn't notice any huge or significant changes. Three weeks is a really short period of time though for skincare products to really do their work. I did think my skin reacted well to the products that we used, particularly the redness thing. I really liked that. Overall, I feel like my skin is brighter. Like it just has a bit more life to it. The skin tone is a bit more consistent. My whole world has changed. I'm gonna be changing my routine. I feel so much more empowered. Overall, I liked it. Would do it again. Let us know what else you want us to try in the comments. Is there a beauty trend fad product that you maybe have looked at buying but haven't wanted to let us know and we might give it a go